<clears throat> hey guys, JH, welcome to practice team. It's very late in the day here today, and we're not actually in the cow paddock, but we're not far away from it. Now, I just wanted to try something today and see if we can get a little bit of downrange. I noticed the other day when we were hitting those shots with Mr. X that we could actually see some ball flight and I think it was because I had the camera a lot further away not closer. Anyway guys first up what I want to do is just do a bit of a correction on the Count Yogi grip and and uh, <laughs> the information I gave on it. Uh, the grip that I showed you guys with the the lead thumb to the lead side of the of the handle was something that I saw him do in a very very small piece of video I only went for about a minute and I've never seen it again I don't know who owned it whether it was part of that king of golf thing and, it, and because it was so different and he may have been just saying this is something that I do because there was no audio with it and he was doing it and showing it but he may have been showing that because it was a specialty grip that he used to do something and it could have been edited out and it clearly has because I can't find it now it's not in the King of Golf and I don't think it was in the King of Golf and maybe the people that promote the Count Yogi thing don't want that um, bandied around as a Count Yogi grip because his standard Count Yogi grip wasn't that that was a specialist one that I saw him and I've never heard anyone mention it that's why I thought it was so unusual his standard grip of course is as Thomas Slagle says is that the the lead thumb is off the shaft off the the grip to the trail side of the grip it's not on the grip it's off to the trail side and that's how how he how he played with it in his general swing but the swing that I showed you and I should have I should have um, really explained that, that that the one I showed you was a really specialist one that I saw him doing and I don't know whether he was saying you shouldn't play like that or I do play like that for certain shots but his standard one was the thumb off the shaft but on the trail side and you can try that yourself to me that doesn't give anywhere near the support that when the thumb is in front of the grip uh, on the lead side at the top of the swing it doesn't give it anywhere near the support that that lead thumb being on that side does compared to when it's on the trail side. For me, when it's on the trail side, I get a fair bit of wrist cock. Now, a couple of guys have, have probably misconstrued what, what Yogi did in his swing. Now, Yogi never ever tried to bow his wrist. That wasn't his intention at all. He never wanted to get like Dustin Johnson or John Rahm or... or um, lots of players that have bowed their wrist and shut the club down or, or just had a bowed wrist still square but he never wanted to do that all he wanted to do was keep that relationship there in the shaft in line easier he didn't he never and he wasn't bowed so he never had that grip to bow the <coughs> to bow his wrist guys not at all so don't think that that was the reason he did it he did it to to create more integrity of shaft back of lead hand and and forearm of the um, of the lead arm and, and really when you do that guys look when, when you do that look look at the integrity there I mean it's extraordinary if I put it over to the side of the shaft here it doesn't feel anywhere I actually feel quite a bit of wrist cock but I don't feel any wrist cock when it's on the left side of the shaft for a right hander and maybe that's why that, that could be the reason that he showed us that maybe he thought well that's what I'm supposed to do. That, 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 maybe that was something he was going to do. But there was no audio on it. And I'm so annoyed that I, that, I didn't, that I didn't keep it, that I didn't file it. Because it's gone. And I haven't heard anyone else mention it. But I saw it. I absolutely saw it. So anyway, guys, that's, that's just a uh, correction on the yoga grip. And for you guys, I'm not saying to use the yoga grip. It's very difficult to use. You know, you know, unless you've got Yogi's talent, very difficult to do, guys. I, if I had to advise you, I'd say don't go near it. 
he had a lot of talent and he worked it out but I wouldn't go near it I'm going to try it down the track because I actually like the feeling of having it over that side in his conventional grip because it does give that huge integrity see guys it's like seven o'clock at night here um, and it's still 35 degrees still 35 degrees it's just bizarre can't hang on to the golf club so I just wanted to make that point or, or, or state that correction okay guys that's all that was about Yogi um, but he didn't try and bow his wrist if anybody thought that he did and that was the reason he did he didn't try and bow his wrist as a matter of fact you look at him he has no bow in his wrist he has just an absolutely straight line integrity angle there in the golf swing okay guys I'll just uh, that's the Yogi explanation I'll come back and do another video if we don't run out of sun <laughs>